guys, Richard Olden here, and welcome to the channel. As you know, I have a 1985 Dodge Omni Turbo. That's right, and it's awesome, except for one thing. It doesn't run. I did a leak down test on it, and at least two of the cylinders are not working. They have zero compression, so you know what I gotta do? I've gotta pull the motor out of the Omni, take it apart, find out what's wrong so we can fix it and get that thing running. Let's take it out. Okay guys, I got the 2.5 liter motor and the transmission out of the Omni. Actually, I lifted the Omni up over the engine and transmission, but they're out. Now we gotta take a look inside and find out what's broke. I'm thinking one of two things. Maybe something stuck in one or two of the valves holding them open so they're not closing, or the age old problem, broken pistons, probably ring lens, too much boost. Let's get that thing apart and find out. This doesn't spin quite as nice as I'd like it to. It maybe it just needs a little oil.
Okay guys, now that we've got the motor out of the Dodge Omni, and here it is, we've taken the valve cover off. Looks like there, everything's okay with the camshaft. But what I'm gonna do, and it's probably gonna be easier and faster, I'm going to go ahead and pull the cylinder head because we need to look inside to find out why it had no compression. I think I'm gonna leave the turbo and the intake and everything on the head, just pull the head off, pull all of that off as one assembly. I'll go ahead and undo all of the things that would stop me from doing that, things that are still connected. And then we'll go ahead and put the head bolts off, take those yank. Then we'll go ahead and yank the head bolts off and get this head off, take a look inside and find out what's broke. I like to take them off by hand, just kind of see how they feel, make sure all the bolts are okay. We didn't find any broken ones this time, so that's good. And we'll buzz them off. I like, to, I like to leave one in there a little secure. I'll take all the other ones off and then use the last one. And then I don't, I don't want the head to rock and pull to one side. It's pretty heavy off to that side. You should be able to pick it up and set it down. Check it out. So now it's, now it's time to find out what I forgot to take off so I can get the head off. All right, we'll give it another shot. I'm like something's still holding it. Let him check out and see if there's any carnage. Okay guys, as you can see, I was wrong. It wasn't one of the two things that I thought. The valves were not being held open and the pistons were all there, although they weren't undamaged totally. But we saw the big trough flame cut that head right out of there. It killed the head gasket, killed a big portion of the cylinder head, but I think it could be welded and repaired. Nonetheless, it also maybe scorched a little bit of the deck surface of the head. The head's iron, so it's pretty tough. I think we could do a skim cut on that and it'll be all good. I've got a set of replacement Weisco forged pistons. I can take the stock pistons off, put the forged pistons on because they're a standard bore, hopefully put the short block back together, but I am going to have to either repair or replace the cylinder head. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Hopefully we can get all these Dodge motors up on the dyno. Thanks for watching.